Hey everybody, this is Nikki. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to get started on your reading. I'm going to start posting on this channel a lot more. It's just the crazy thing about this channel is it was doing very well. All of a sudden the, the numbers dropped. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm definitely going to start posting more. Uh, please don't forget you all to like, subscribe, like, subscribe, and share if you have, have already not done so. I see some things coming your way. We have the Seven of Wands energy here. Uh, you possibly have been defensive a lot lately, but this is it's time for you to persevere. It's time for you to move forward in your lives. Wow, we got the Ten of Swords. So this is you're afraid to fail. OK, um, you've, you've tried to achieve so much, possibly in a short period of time in your life. And when you lost something or when something didn't turn out right, you shut down. You went in hermit mode. Because you couldn't handle the defeat. The, the you couldn't handle stabbed, being stabbed in your back or hurt. But and the thing about it is you got up and you and you moved forward. But when you got up. You just disappeared. It's like. I'm shutting down. Okay. So you shut down. Whatever the, whatever happened, whoever or whatever made you feel defeated, made you feel like they stabbed you in the back and hurt you. Um, it kind of made you think differently about moving forward. Because you said, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can keep doing this. I can't do this anymore. I give up. All right. We got the six of cups. So you, you've given and given so much of yourself, you know, so much of your time, your, your abilities. And when things don't work out right for you, you shut down. You just like, just go blank, you know. You have the king of wands. And you feel alone. You feel like like there's nobody else going through this. So we got the ace of cups. You have a love. You have the love of man, the love in general. You like, it's like. You put so much of yourself out there and into relationships and whatever it is you're doing. But when you don't get their back, it hurts like hell because you do so much for other people and they stab you in the back. We have the five of the five of swords. It's like you've lost so much because of what people have said and because of what people have done to you. It's, it makes you feel isolated and, and hostile and you've had to distance yourself from, from, from some people. And it's, it's just hard for you to comprehend why can't you get that same thing back from people? Okay. Message for the collective, please. This collective need to know. It's time for a treat. Okay. It's time for you to, to, to just reward yourself for being who you are. If nobody else appreciates you, collective, you um, pre appreciate yourself. OK, appreciate yourself for what it is you've done and things are going to come back to you in due time, in due season. All right. But you got to stop hiding. You got to stop uh, deflecting because there is a great abundance of love for you out there to be received. But how can you get it if you are not doing anything to start the process? You kind of feel like a big fish in a small pond. But things will get better for you. Just got to put yourself out there. There's been so many things that you have lost. But also there's going to be so many things that you are going to gain if you just believe in yourself more. You know, this, this, this is a great time for you to manifest the good things that are coming for you in your life that you don't see because of all the conflict, because of all of the denial that you're in. Possibly there's been too much drinking or, or eating or worrying a little bit too much. You know, you get overstuffed and um, over full or whatever it is that you're doing and you just just lay back and let those problems, you know, you can't find them in the bottom of the bottle. You can't find them in the bottom of an ice cream container or whatever, you know, but you're doing it because it makes you feel good for the moment. And then you can't stand yourself because you did something you said you were not going to do again. You overindulged. You got the point of cups. Yeah. Some of y'all are starting or deciding to stop drinking or deciding to stop eating so much because you know you're doing it a little bit too much. You've had your treat. Enough is enough. But you said, you know what? What the fuck am I doing? I can't. I can't do this to myself. I, I. I need to get up from here. I need to get. I need to get my shit together. Okay. And you recognize that. You realize that you can't keep on uh, being in a daze, caught up in the moment of your problems and stuff because things aren't moving for you swiftly or fast enough. Okay. Maybe somebody here has a pet turtle. I'm hearing the name Jasper. <laughs> so maybe you have a pet turtle named Jasper. I do. I think that you're being a little bit too hard on yourself, Collector. You gotta, you gotta learn how to love yourself better. Mistakes and all, you know, 
Life is not a fairy tale. Okay, things will get better for you, uh, but you can't keep you can't keep harping on what it is that you've lost. You got to let some things go. Okay, that's the four of cups. That's you holding on a little bit too some a little bit too tight and being dissatisfied with what it is that you've got in your life. The You haven't moved as far because you're not allowing yourself to move far. And we have here the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning for you, okay? This is you saying, you know what? I have some new ideas. There are some new things that out that want to come forth in my life. But how can they if you're just sitting stuck in the same place, if you're sitting stuck in silence and not moving forward in your life? There are some things that you need to see. Okay, there's some fiery heat in your energy field. Okay, let it happen. Let this energy come forth. Because while you're sitting here bored, spirit is saying, uh uh, nope, I got you got some work to do. Okay, you got some work to do, collective. And whatever it is, you need to get up off your rump and start doing it. And don't feel sorry for yourself. Okay, there's an opportunity here for you. You're not bored. You haven't lost everything in your life. There's always an opportunity for you to shine. All right. Always an opportunity for you to shine and to and to love. We got the Ace of Cups, so don't don't think that that you've lost anything. You have a lot of new a newness, a lot of newness for you, a lot of a position coming for you in love and in relationships too. Hold on, I'm trying to see what this is. Maybe some tattoos. Maybe you want to get you a tattoo. We had that treat yourself card earlier. Treat yourself to a nice tattoo or something, okay? If that's what you believe in. The two of wands. That's you finally making a decision. Finally coming off of stagnation, out of stagnation that you put yourself in, all right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be some work, okay? But that's okay. You feel like you can't thrive and grow. You feel like there's nothing going to come your way. It is. You're going to have rewards here for you due to the expanding nature of your heart, mind, and soul. All right. We have the justice. So I think that, that the decisions that you make right now will dictate how you're living your future. You got to be open. Okay. And, and, and find balance and be fair to yourself. If you feel that you've been treated unfairly, well, be, be, more, be more fair to yourself. Accept that as a challenge and learn from it and move on. Don't keep holding on to that, okay? Message for the collective, please, Spirit. What else do they need to know? That's too many. We got the star. This is a very vulnerable time for you, but at the same time, this is a new beginning, okay? A new a new beginning for you to do better. I see you moving forward. I see you finally coming to the conclusion in your mind that I deserve better. I mean, this is a good omen for you to know that it's time for you to move. It's time for you to cast doubt aside. It's time for you to get out of climb out of hermit mode and surround yourself with the white light of the Holy Spirit and do what you need to do for you. Because this energy around you is so strong. There's hopes, there's dreams coming true for you. Okay. But you have to be the, the person who's going to cause this shift of this shift to change in your life and you can do it. Okay. You're not going to be alone. Spirit is going to be with you. You're going to have a spirit guide. Okay. Some of you have a spirit guide who is a, a guy or a young child. And we have here the King of Swords. See, you have a guy, a man who is a, a male who is a spirit guide to you. Okay. He is watching your move. He is watching every aspect. He's taking away the he's taking the things away from your life that no longer belong. That's why you feel like you got stabbed in your back because you didn't deserve to be there in the first place. Okay. Let's get a final message for your overall energy. Release your power. Okay. Release your power. You you have you feel like you are powerless. You feel like there's nothing there for you to do. You feel like I've lost everything. What can I do? You have not released your power. Just put it on pause for a moment. And we have here collision of collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energies is what you believe. You've been through the storm. You're coming through this storm. You got to believe in yourself more. Okay. Ghosts, time for you to let some people go. And that's why you've gotten stabbed in the back by some people who you thought cared about you or who or are, and you found that they didn't give two shits about you, collective. It's time for you to let them go. 
you probably already did then you probably well why did this happen you don't need to know that just know that the natural world needs you the natural world needs you okay that's something that you have to do something that you're destined to do okay and what goes around comes around if, if something happens to these people who did you wrong don't worry about it karma is a bitch okay Karma is a bitch. Let it go. And like I said earlier, some of y'all are eating too much, drinking too much, doing something a little bit too much. You got to let it go. Intoxication, distorted, distorted view, overindulgence. But you realize that you're putting a stop to this because you realize that's not me. I got to stop this. I'm harming myself based on this past heartache and pain or the stuff that I've been through. This person who stabbed me in my back, whatever it was, you're downing yourself in hermit mode and you got to cut that out. But you realize I got to I got to do better. OK, when you know better, you do better. All right. Hope this message resonates. Talk to you all later.